GED Math Lesson 4. This is a multi-step word problem where they might try to trick you, and I want to show you what happens. Here's the word problem, and I've changed it a little bit so it's not quite what's in the book, but it's close. Emma, Lisa, and Tala are baking cupcakes for a bake sale. Each batch of cupcakes requires two cups of flour. They have a single five pound bag of flour that contains 19 cups of flour. How many whole batches of cupcakes can they bake? So the first thing we have to realize is there's a lot of unnecessary information in this word problem. Do we need to know who's baking the cupcakes? No, we don't. This entire first sentence is not even important. We don't even need that. Each batch of cupcakes requires two cups of flour. That is important. They have a single five pound bag of flour that contains 19 cups of flour. We don't need to know that it's a five pound bag. All we need to know is that they have 19 cups of flour. So we don't need this. Well, we do need to know that they have it. So they have, we can cross this out, they have 19 cups of flour. How many whole batches of cupcakes can they bake? And the other thing we have to pay attention to is it says whole batches. It's not asking how many cupcakes they can bake. It's asking how many whole batches. And we need two cups of flour for each batch. So what do we need to find? We need to find the whole batches. What information do we need? That it takes two cups for each batch and they have 19 cups. We need to make sure we answer exactly what it asked, how many whole batches. So this is either a proportions problem or we can just use multiplication or division, whichever is easiest and gets you the right answer. As a proportion, we can look at this as one batch over two cups. And it's gonna equal some amount over 19 cups. It's gonna be that amount of whole batches over 19 cups, or the amount of batches, I should say. What we do is we cross multiply the info we do have. 1 times 19 is equal to 19. 2 times something is equal to 19. Well, 2 times 9 is 18. So if we add a half, that would give us two halves. That would give us the 19. We end up with a 19 over a 19. And if we cross multiply and get a 1 as a fraction with the same numerator and denominator, we know we did it right. So we come up with a 9.5 that would go here. That's nine and a half batches, but it wants whole batches. So the answer is nine. We don't count the half. Now, if you don't want to look at it as a proportion, we can just use some common sense here. One batch is two cups. They have 19 cups. We can divide the 19 cups by two cups and get nine and a half but they want whole batches, so that's going to be a 9. If we mistakenly use the information that's not important and we multiply the 24 times the 9 batches, we're going to get 216 cupcakes. That's not batches, that's separate cupcakes. And if we make the mistake of multiplying those 24 cupcakes by the 9.5, we're going to get 228 cupcakes. Now, keep in mind the 216 and the 228 as an answer because we mistakenly multiplied information we didn't need. Look at our answer choices. Our answer choices are a 9, a 38, a 216, or a 228. If you're not paying attention and you don't answer exactly what it asked, how many whole batches, the real answer is a 9. If we don't answer exactly what it's asking, we might make the mistake of multiplying and getting a 216 or a 228 and thinking one of those are the answers. So what you can take away from this is be very, very careful of unnecessary information. Use your scratch paper to write down the information that is important. And I'll have links in this video's description for more proportion problems in our lesson on proportions and for algebra word problems. So I hope you have a great day and I hope you found this helpful. Don't let those word problems trick you. 
Make sure you're answering exactly what it's asking of you, okay? I'll see you next time. Bye.